Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I get a really extra dramatic thick lash look. I realize that my lashes are long and that they're nice already, but no matter if you've got short lashes or long lashes or what, you can definitely use some of these tips um, beyond like your normal just applying mascara and get much more dramatic results than you're used to. So I don't like to wear fal false lashes. I do occasionally for tutorials and stuff, but I'm just not a false lash kind of gal. Um, I really like to work with what I've got, and like I said, my lashes are pretty good already, so that helps. Um, but there are definitely some great tips and some products that you can do outside of the normal just applying mascara and calling it a day. Um, so I'm going to give you some of my best tips for getting long, super thick, crazy, dramatic lashes. Get a little closer so you can see, but um, my lashes, like I said, are pretty good already. This is a way that just makes them look a lot thicker and just more dramatic and stuff. And um, like I said, no matter what length of lashes you have, you can totally do this. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this and find it helpful. If you want to see some of my best lash enhancing tips, then keep watching. So the eyeshadow looks very basic. I didn't want to waste a lot of time on that, but definitely don't overlook eyeshadow as a way to enhance your lashes. That's kind of where it all starts. So what I want to do first is take like a medium brown and an angled brush, and I'm just going to use this one, or you could even use that darker one if you want. And then just right here on this outer corner, just sort of touch that and just sort of almost create like a little blurred line. That'll make your lower lashes appear a lot thicker. And then you can take that same color and do your um, upper lash line, but I'm gonna take my NARS Larger Than Life pencil in Via De Martelli, and this is a brown, and I'm just gonna apply it not so carefully to my upper lash line, just really close. Even if you're gonna use black, black mascara like I do, I think the brown looks pretty natural to do this. We're gonna add a bit of black in a moment, and you'll see. You can even take a pencil brush if you think that smudges it a little easier, which sometimes I do. Just want it to look really soft. I'm going to take a black liquid liner that is very, very precise. You can use anything you want, but I really like this Kat Von D and Trooper. I'll zoom so you can see, but it's sort of coating right at that lash line. And that is going to create the look of really thick lashes too. So keep in mind, you're definitely not completely coating what we just did with the, um, with the eyeliner with the pencil. That's just the whole point is that's, that sort of created like, you see how that kind of smudged it out and created a blended effect. And then and this, that the lash line just sort of kind of like anchors it and just makes it really thin and smooth. Almost like seamlessly connects it to the lashes. I'm gonna start with this. It's the It Cosmetics Tight Line. And this is the waterproof version. I've seen some, I didn't know that it was available any other way. <laughs> this is the only one I've ever seen. Um, but I really, really love this. It's like a primer that really beefs up your lashes. Um, you just put it right at the base down there, almost touching the waterline. Um, almost like you're tight lining. That's the whole idea. But you're just gonna keep wiggling it and pulling it upward. This is going to create so much volume at the base. Press it into that base of your lash and then pull up. You can see already that makes the lashes so pretty just by itself. Get a little more on the brush. With this I do find that you have to like dip it a lot because it really wipes off quickly. Getting the inner half. So I just sort of press in and then flick it up. You can even coat the entire lash with it, but you know, sometimes I will just like that, just super lightly. And you can even get your ends, you know, and make sure that your ends are coated. And get the other side. As far as coating the bottom lashes with this, this is not my favorite thing to use on my lower lashes. Um, but after you've already sort of used it and it's wiped off a lot of the product, um, you can sort of wiggle it on the bottom. I hate to dip it and then use it straight on the lower ones because I feel like it can transfer too much product and start looking a little messy. So this is just creating like a really thick base without having to use like a white primer. I hate, hate, hate white primers. You have to work so hard to cover up the white. I mean, they might as well just make it black in the first place. All right, so we're already looking pretty good. Next, I'm gonna use my mascara. You can choose whatever you like. Lately, I have really been loving 
um, the Dior Show Iconic Overcurl and my original Lash Blast Volume. I tried to use the Clump Crusher a lot and I really loved it when I first got it, but then I sort of started missing this one, so I went back to that. Or, I really like the Armani Eyes to Kill. I know I'm throwing a lot at you. Um, or the Chanel La Volume to Chanel, but I don't have that one right now. It's been a while since I've had one of those. I don't curl my lashes. You can definitely do that, and I would recommend doing that before you put anything on there. Sometimes people do it after, but I just feel like it can kind of pull out your lashes if you do that. Um, but I'm just going to use my CoverGirl Lash Blast. I feel like you can get, like, such dramatic lashes with this. And nothing special about this. I just sort of apply the mascara right over what we just did. You can sort of wiggle it a little bit. I can sort of feel how it, like you can really tell there's a lot of volume down there at the base that that Tightline product created. Do the same thing on this side. Just wiggle it right into where we applied the Tightline product and then pull upward and start sort of coating the ends like that. Let it dry. And I'm going to do my lower ones. Sometimes it's good to do the lower ones first so that you don't have to look down. And um, if you can just do it without having to look too far down, you shouldn't get any transfer on your brow bone up there. Then on my lower ones, I just, I mean, I could go all the way in, but I don't want it to look like super like doll-like and crazy down there. So I just sort of coat these outer ones mostly. This brush is huge, so it is a little hard to get your lower ones with, but okay. Daily I just do like one coat of mascara but if I'm really going for something crazy I'll take the spoolie brush which I do a lot of times anyways just if there's any like clumps but I'm gonna run through them just very lightly and um, it just sort of makes them a little feathery and soft before I do the last coat so that you're not like coating over things and making spider eyes. This is how to prevent the spider eyes. So I just sort of comb them out and make sure that there's no areas that are really stuck together, no like clumps. And then after that sets up for a few more minutes, you can do one more coat. And you can even go crazy and do a different type. I think sometimes that's fun to mix them up. So um, I'm gonna do my Dior Over Curl, which I love the shape of this brush. And I think it really, like, I don't need to curl my lashes, but I really do feel like it helps. Let me get a mirror. Um, I don't know, I feel like it just sort of like pulls them in and makes them sort of um, constrict and it's very very black which I like so I sort of press this in again you can see this is creating a lot more volume without clumps so that's nice but I've been sort of using this mascara like this lately and this is really good for your lower lashes because you can just sort of fit it on there like that my biggest tip if you feel like they're getting they're starting to look clumpy or anything just stop with the mascara wand because it'll just get worse if you keep working with that and then bust out a little spoolie like this and um, just sort of comb them out but that didn't really happen I just wanted to kind of show you that but yeah so really crazy thick lashes I probably could have put just a little bit more of this on the ends so that's it guys I hope that you found my tips to be helpful no matter what your lashes look like how short they are how long they are if you do some of these tips you can definitely create a very dramatic difference from what you've got now. So I hope that you enjoyed it. That you have a great week. Don't forget to enter my giveaway. It should be. A little video should be popping up somewhere around here. Um, but yeah, definitely enter the, the giveaway. Check out that last video that I posted. And yeah, so I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.